Hi Dave, I'm Rebecca from Spruce York. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, good. Could, could you introduce your company, please, and share with us how you started School on Designs? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, I'm Dave Hannum. Uh, I own the company Scroll on Designs, um, which I started as a hobby in 2012, um, basically making things that I gave away, which was was all right at the time. Uh, and then I decided that perhaps I could sell these items. So in 2013, I opened the Etsy shop. Um, which enables me to sell online, which which has grown and grown. So it's been it's been good for me. Oh, that's great. You've been go going for a while then. <laughs> uh, yeah, reasonable amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so could you tell us what inspires your designs and a little bit about how you make your products? Uh, yeah, all the products that I make are made by myself uh, using a scroll saw, as I say. Uh, I use mostly hardwoods. Uh, such as oak and tulip wood, uh, rather than pine, which a lot of other people use. Um, some of the items are made out of uh, birch ply, which is some of the Christmas decorations that I make. Uh, and I've also been starting to make some German lit arches, which is a product that I'm starting to make, which is which hopefully will go. Yeah. Are they on? Are they available for people to buy on Etsy? Yeah, yeah, it's one of the newest products that we've listed actually this this year. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll have to check those out. Yeah, you need to go <laughs> and, and have I a look. I did have yeah. a look actually, <laughs> and I saw your wooden dash out dogs. They look really good. Um, and yeah. so I wanted to ask, what what's your most popular item and your favourite item to make? Yeah, uh, the dog actually, the dash out dog is is one of the favourites. People buy the dash out dog. Yeah, um, it's probably, probably dogs are getting better to sell, you know, the, a lot of people are asking for them at fairs and stuff, so we are actually trying to put a few more into our range. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, at the moment the best, um, best thing that I make, um, probably the nursery sign, uh, door sign which is, it's got like a, a big capital letter and then the name of okay. the person and that sits, sticks to the door, which is okay. one of the, the best uh, sellers at the moment. Uh, the thing that I like making the most, um, possibly the love sign that I, one of the first things I ever made um, and I put on Etsy when I opened the shop. Uh, I think that's maybe the reason I like making them because it was the first thing I ever did remind you of um, yeah, the original where I started yeah and <laughs> <laughs> um, so where do you actually make the products and are they all made by yourself yeah yeah all the products that uh, that are listed on Etsy are made by myself yeah um, we have a, a small extension to the house that we had built a few years ago and at the time I said right I'm gonna have a workshop as well so I've got a small workshop which is actually inside so in winter, I don't have to go out to a garage or anything. Um, so yeah. yeah, it's all all done at home where I live, <laughs> which is good. Yeah. Uh, so, as well as sort of doing this, this, do you sort of do anything else, or what? What do you kind of enjoy doing to relax when you're not making or designing things? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I relax quite well doing actually scroll side, um, but uh, gardening is is one of my one of my things I think, growing veg as well, which is has been a thing in lockdown because I've had a bit more time. Um, I have a small boat on the River Ouse, which I like working on and, and going out on, which is good. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. We grow um, we grow veg ourselves at a little allotment, so and a few right. of our products are kind of veg related. I'll show you some of those in a moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, so in terms of um, plans for the future, have you got any new collections that you've been working on during lockdown or any sort of plans to go forward? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one big thing that possibly I'm hoping to do is in April of next year is uh, retire from a full-time job that I'm actually in at the moment. So oh, that'll be good if that comes off. Um, yeah. Yeah, at, at the moment, probably the things 
I'm looking to do is to grow the business a bit more um, when I retire, which would be good uh, to make the Etsy shop bigger, put more products yeah. and things in it. You know, um, lockdown is, is what I like to mm -hmm. say. What we what have we got? Well, mainly I've been working on the Christmas decorations, which I it's mentioned. Coming up fast, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've been trying to concentrate on the next thing that's coming along, which is Christmas, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm making Christmas things this time of year, which is a bit <laughs> strange. But uh, and I also ran out of wood uh, towards the end of lockdown, so I ended up making some wooden toys for my grandkids. Which oh, wow. uh, and they, yeah. bet they'll be popular. <laughs> yeah, so they enjoyed those. Yeah, so oh. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Perfect. Lovely. Great. Back down to you, Rebecca. Um, okay. Yeah, Rebecca from Spruce. Um, where did you get your your name from? The original name. Uh, so my partner and I, we came up with the name Spruce York. Uh, we're based in York, so we wanted to incorporate that in the name and also we're spru sprucing up the term and spruce is also a, a type of tree. We make a lot of products from wood and we also make things from reclaimed items. So we have um, driftwood items, we've got a little captive pot here. Uh, so we make quite a few of oh, those, yeah. they're quite yeah. popular. Uh -huh. And we make things from pallets and upcycled furniture, so sort of sprucing things up from what they were before for something yeah. new. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of where the name comes from and we wanted something quite short and sort of easy to remember. Yeah, yeah, you, I saw on the uh, on the website that uh, you've been making some rope, something out of rope, is that some shelving uh, or something? Yeah, so it's sort of um, macrame kind of knots at the top and then there's two shelves that go on it, so the rope suspended shelves and they're quite good for putting pants on or using them in the bathroom, that kind of thing. Oh, right, they yeah. Oh, quite those ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where do you make most of your products? Uh, and, uh, and is it your full time job or? Uh, so we've got a little workshop where in York. So we make all of the wooden items in the workshop. Uh, we also sell ceramics and greetings cards and some other small items from independent makers and artists, and they're all handmade in Yorkshire. Uh, so that's quite quite good to add to our, right, range yeah. our own products. Um, in terms of if it's my full-time job, um, I was an estate agent full-time until November and that's when we started Bruce York. So I left that job, I went on a yoga holiday and I came back and thought I quite like to work for myself. So I left that job, set up Spruce and I have a part-time job at the moment so um, I manage a business centre as well a couple of days right. a week. Oh so busy busy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to keep busy. That's like me, I do as well. Which, yeah, yeah. Which is your favourite product to make and why? Uh, so I like making the driftwood cactus pots. Uh, one of my favourite places to go is the beach. So we get lots of the driftwood and we go on nice walks and things there. Um, we've also got these um, new signs I'll just show you. So we've been making these today. So they're made from flakes with oak on them and copper. Uh, so they're quite quite nice. Um, we have an allotment, so we, we like things that sort of veg or fruit related. The little marker signs for your, for your plot. <laughs> right. So you've listed those on Etsy then, yeah? Uh, so they, when this um, goes out, they will be on there, yeah. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, has lockdown enabled you to to increase your product range, or possibly inspired you to to make different items for your shop? Yeah, so uh, we've been working quite a lot in the workshop more than normal. Uh, so we've made quite a few new things. So the slate sign I've just shown you. Um, we've also we're starting selling some big tables as well. They'll they'll be on shortly. And they're full full down tables that you can use outside like a picnic table. Oh, um, right, yeah. Some new coffee tables that are laser engraved inside that lift up with hairpin legs. Uh, so we've got, got a few things in the pipeline coming up. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good, yeah. Uh, do you have any plans uh, for the future? To grow yeah, your so business? we're hoping to continue to grow Spruce, uh, reach more customers and people who are looking for handmade things, local um, from Yorkshire products, um, kind of unique gifts that are a bit different and 
one off. Yeah. Um, we're going to, going to expand where we sell. So at the moment we sell on Etsy and our website. So we're going to make it so that you can buy directly through our Instagram and Facebook pages. And um, we're also setting up an eBay shop shortly. Uh, we've got lots of ideas for new products. So we'll continue to work with other Yorkshire-based artists and makers and expand our range. And we've been in discussions with a few local little shops. So we're That's hoping good. to put yeah. some of our handmade products into there as well. Right. So plenty going on for the for this year and possibly on to the next. Yeah, busy, busy, <laughs> which is good. <laughs>